and just on uh, Facebook, and I saw there was a video of um, Owen Hart and the Blue Blazer as his last appearance before I tragically passed away. And uh, it's apparently it's 17 years, 17 years ago today, um, that O.R. tragically fell to your own death, facing the Godfather, before facing the Godfather for the Intercontinental Championship. You know, it's one of those things where you know where you were. You know, I was in the ninth grade. I remember waking up and uh, my computer was actually in my room. So it was the family computer and it was in my room for some reason. And I woke up. My dad was on there and he said, hey, a wrestler just died. I don't know, that's weird. And I got in my chair and I saw a picture of Owen Hart. I didn't know what really happened. It was kind of a weird thing. You know. So it was really shocking. And I got to school. Half people in my school, as 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 myself, were huge wrestling fans. I still follow it to this day, obviously. They all had the black armbands. They all wrote Owen Hart on their knuckles. And here I am, guy who, for some reason, didn't do that until probably later that day. I put Steve Austin or something on my knuckles at first, and then I thought, wow, I really am being disrespectful. I regret that, and I'm always gonna regret that. You know, the following night, just to watch the outpouring of wrestlers who shared stories of them, cried, was very awesome, just to see how. They banded together like a family. Uh, I think the only downfall though was that they put the character's name on the screen instead of the real name, but that's besides the point. You could tell that uh, Jesse James was hurting. You could tell Triple H was hurting. You could tell Deborah was hurting. Jeff Jarrett. Mark Henry read a poem, but I did the ten count. And when I started watching the WWF, uh, there was Owen Hart and Coco Beware has high energy. And it was a pretty cool take team. And I was unaware that Owen and Brett were brothers at that time. It was pointed out to me afterwards. I remember being obviously a huge fan of the Hitman Bret Hart. Uh, obviously. So I was never a big fan of Owen. Then I'm looking back now. Uh, well, I'm looking back as a teenager. After the passing of Owen, 
he was, I slowly started to realize that I was a human being. Doesn't matter if I liked him or not. As a wrestler, he was still a human being. And it was unfortunate to see how it all came about. How it all came about. Like you saw what happened to um, that night you had Vince McMahon apparently trying out the whole thing where Owen Hart would ride down the rafters like Sting. They were doing a mock WCW thing there. And somehow, and I like to say Vince Russo, but I don't know, they changed the card at the last minute. So Owen, something happened and Owen kind of just fell to his death. And no, I obviously no, never got the pay-per-view. I never got to see the footage, which is obviously a good thing. But just to be there at the arena at that time and to see that, to see that and to hear it again years later, guys like uh, Sean Morley of Golf Venus talk about how they were wheeling him out and doing CPR and his lifeless body, his eyes. Just, he wasn't there. Then you hear it, the story of how Stone Cold Steve Austin was in the ring with The Undertaker. And at some point, he looked over to where Owen's blood had been on the mat. It's kind of haunting if you think about it, you know. It's just one of those things where you kind of, and then you look back and you think, well, there were talks about Owen Hart becoming the game instead of Triple H. Now, at that point, I don't know if he was the game. I know he became a heel and cut his hair and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know if he was the game at this point. So it's interesting how that would have worked out. And it was a shame that he had never been in a well, I was going to say Intercontinental Champion, but he was that. Shame that he never became WWF Champion. Look at the match at SummerSlam. And I think SummerSlam 1994. Now, you had WrestleMania 10. I don't know how they worked it. I don't know if Bret Hart lost to Owen and Owen would go on to face the winner of the Lex Luger Yokozuna match. I don't know. They could have planned it differently though. However, you could have had. You could have had Owen Hart go over at SummerSlam, become WWF champion, and then instead of having Bob Backlund and Bret Hart. You could have had Owen Hart lose at Survivor Series to Bret Hart. But things were different. You know, there's always that what if plan. And I always occasionally wonder what, what, what would have been if Owen Hart was still here. You know? Maybe Bret Hart wouldn't have gone to WCW. Well, that's actually before that, so that wouldn't have worked. But he was one of those guys, too, that you looked at as he would have been perfect for the PG era. Now, look at Brian Danielson. In the WWF, or WWE, not Ring of Honor. And I go, he kind of reminded me of Owen Hart. 
he had that bad guy edge, but he never used foul language or gestures or anything like that. So I think he would have been great in any movie, you know, to, you know, with Daniel Bryan or Brian Daniel, whatever. He's the guy who's not believable as a WWE champion just because he's got that size difference. So did Owen Hart. Could you imagine if he was the one that was the WWE champion? How that would have turned out, I don't know. But, you know, it's tough um, of the level that his wife, his widow, will never make amends with the WWE Vince McMahon, which is kind of understandable in a way, but in another way, it's like, we can't do anything about it. It's done. Can't hold grudges forever, but, you know, it's, uh, somebody I wish, uh, there's only that one day, that one Monday, where I kind of screwed things up. It wasn't as respectful as I should have been. But, there it is, you know. So... Yeah, you could... Natalia, who always will pay tribute to him. You get Mom David Smith, who is now in Japan. You know, it was an interesting time, but Owen Hart's definitely missed. I know that the Hearts obviously won't miss him. Brad Hart mentions that he's always thinking about Owen. And, you know, it was, it was a very interesting time. In the past 17 years, if things would have probably changed had not Owen fell to his death. Maybe, I don't know. But, it's, uh, just interesting to know that. Anyways. Uh, yeah. There's really mu not much else I can say about that. I did a video a couple years ago about Owen Hart and the anniversary of his death, so I'll try to post that there too. I'm the link below. So anyways, yeah, um, Owen Hart, one of the best high flyers, not necessarily luchador, but best high flyers, and a shame that he never got to achieve the big prize, that is the WWF Championship, so, anyways, uh, I wanted to share my thoughts. Talk to you later. Bye.